The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not in any way reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. My name? You don't know my name? It's a me, Giovanni. Now don't... <laughs> now I don't want the family to get into your stables and do something bad to your pet horse, right? Ah, good. Uh, one more thing. If something happens to Doc Adam, I will call you back and give you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> Very well then. Talk to you later. You one lucky son of a bitch. Hi there Ian here and welcome to another Salty Reactions where commentaries need an extra dose of salt. First of all, pardon my impression of, Ital of the Italian American accent of English and some references from The Godfather. So it won't be the last, so please suit up and impress the family even if it's cringy, okay? I'll explain to you why I'm doing that concept later. That's also the reason why I'm wearing a collared shirt and not some not some collarless shirt or a tank top, okay? So that's it. But before that, let me tell you something. If you're watching this and you're liking what you're seeing on my YouTube channel, please do me a favor. On the bottom right corner near the screen, there is a big red subscribe button here, just like this shirt. Click it and make it gray, and then ring the notification bell by selecting all. Also, I would appreciate it if you would share this video and my channel to everyone you know who wants to subscribe to a quality commentary-based Filipino YouTuber based in the Philippines who is fighting the good fight against the trends of the mighty algorithm. Now let's get back to business, capiche? So while Doc Adam is an Australian of English descent and I don't want to mention the derogatory term some Hispanophobes call white Europeans of British heritage, there is an article written by an Italian chemist named Dario Bresanini in 2016 about the kind of attitude that Doc Adams detractors are employing. Don Dario, and though he's no vengeful mafia lord, I just want to make references to the, to the Godfather, remember? Uh, calls this attitude Il Potere Mediatico del Camice Bianco, or the mediating power of the white coat. Unfortunately, the article is in Italian, and unless you speak or even comprehend Italian, it wouldn't make any sense. With that said, we Filipinos are lucky because there are a few of us who speak, write, and understand Italian, or at least they try to learn it in the context of everyday life. One such person is someone I know and someone who knows me very well because she happens to be my partner. So I do apologize for the shameless vlog and I want to let you know that I love you, okay? Before this gets too cheesy, I would like to digest to you parts of her translation of Dario Bresanini's article. The link to the Italian article is on the description below and I'll try to, uh, uh, I'll try to post the article or the translation of that article in English in the first or pinned comment down below. So. Let's begin. In the article, Bresanini enumerated the many times he's being discredited about food chemistry and its effects on the human being because he is not a medical professional, although his opinions make more sense. He also shared some personal anecdotes about homeopathic treatment, which can never, I repeat, never be a preferred procedure by medical professionals due to its lack of scientific evidence. Now, do you see where this is going? You know, let me try an, uh, a native Italian impression of uh, Bresanini's uh, uh, thing. Let's give it a shot. 
kung ayaw ko hindi pwede kung hindi ko kaya I'll do it uh, in normal speech Bresanini writes Dear doctors you have a snake in your chest I know that in the overwhelming majority of cases you encounter, you will carry out a respectable and difficult task. But as professionals and medical associations, you allow your colleagues to make a claims unfounded by science or even false claims. Once the media spread these claims, they can be very damaging. The public can never know if the doctor in front of them correctly reports the present opinion in the scientific community. Obviously, modification is possible. Or if he is sharing his own personal opinion without perhaps basing himself on a thin sheet of evidence. Again, I ask, do you know where this is going? With all these talks about medicines and therapy and the debunking of such in the style of Doc Adam, with a genuine attempt of unspeaking Tagalog and a talking skeleton and all, made me realize Bresanini has a point. He concludes the article, and maybe I'll just say this in normal speech. Medyo na, <laughs> medyo na ako sa uh, Italian accent. I have to talk like this all the time to to achieve that Italian accent. I did, and I don't wanna do this all the time in this video. Capisce? He concludes the article, writing, To the youth who would want to become popular scientists or scientific communicators, this article is part of a series of unsolicited advice to young, popular scientists. Remember that this power, most especially if you are among those that wear the white coat, when a doctor speaks, he carries with him an authority. Thus, he has a responsibility to the public which is superior to that of any professional category. As Voltaire often say, great power means great responsibility. He is a doctor, he knows. And it is a no-brainer that the TV has a penchant for transforming doctors into opinion makers, even those who are very good in their own fields, yet have their own limitations. These opinion makers, when interviewed, are experts when they talk about incinerators, pollution, flower, pesticides, or biotechnology. But remember that even if you may not be a doctor just like me, Bresanini adds, you may happen or it may not happen that you find yourselves exchanging ideas in a public debate. In this case, know that you begin with your hands tied behind your back and your feet tied with weights or tied by weights rather. If in case you need to replicate weird or bad claims just like what happened to me which are false, the only thing you can do is to ask for the evidence. However, it is easier to lay down your thesis by mean, means of writing an article or better, a book than on stage or a TV debate. Where is the evidence providing your claims? Where is it written? Well, what scientific publications can you bring into the table that supported your claims? Obviously, I tried. The publications that contain these things are censored. They don't want people to know. But I know these things because I'm a doctor. Now, because of this Italian reference, I think it is only right to make some pop culture homages to, for this piece. Specifically with The Godfather, even though it's a bit... Uh, shady for me to do that but you see the euphemistic one-liners in the series is just appropriate to fill in with this Bresanini article because Don Vito is right revenge is a dish best served cold so real talk to those who still see something wrong about Doc Adam don't tell me you're innocent because it insults my intelligence and makes me very angry and I hope no one would put these unreasonable folks to sleep with the fishes. Nobody wants that, see? So a piece of advice. Leave the cabbage, take the pork, you hear me? Now fuck off and let me grab a cup of coffee. But kidding aside, I would like to tell you that at least someone from the medical community in the person of Doc Adam is siding with Bresanini in exposing the concept of white coat credibility. We need brave voices like that to tell them they don't mess with science or else face the consequences. After all, 
I try to be a reasonable man. And with all that said, this is Ian reminding you to keep your cup of coffee sweet and your nona's pasta deliciously salty. And at all times, be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, make your family proud, and see you next time. Peace. Ian. Mamma mia!